Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Today, I have my dog and my sister with me. She's going to be sitting next to me, just kind of watching, helping me Google things. Because today it might get a little complicated because we do need to make um, some of the upgrades for the Cyclops. And then we're going to go down and venture to get some more of the wrecks and just kind of more things that we can make. Alright, so I'm kind of looking at the... Recipe. So the aluminum oxide crystals, we can find those at the Grand Reef, which we can reach with our Cyclops at the moment. The Plasteel ingots, those will take a little bit, I think. And the Cyclops pressure compensator is just more Plasteel ingots and aluminum oxide crystals. So I think the first step for now is to get the aluminum oxide crystals and we could get those with the Cyclops. So what kind of supplies do I have? And I know I already have some supplies inside the Cyclops, so guys, I think we're pretty much good. I'll, you know, I'll eat one of these right now. Yeah, I'm just going to grab the Cyclops, which is, of course, right here. And we're going to head out, and we're going to try to look for those aluminum oxide crystals and bring back as many as we can. I'm having a little bit of lag here. A lot of lag. Welcome aboard, so yeah, I think Captain. the Grand Reef All biome is... It's that one biome with like a lot of glowing blue things. So I guess we will go look for that. Okay, so apparently it's southwest. My sister just, what did I just hit? Apparently it's southwest and southwest is this way. So I'm gonna trust my judgment and I'm gonna go this way then. And it is starting to turn into daytime. What keeps hitting me? Is that? Okay, hopefully the thing's not near us. Seamoth fragment. We already have this. But might as well grab it up for that titanium. Is there any way to... Ooh, right here. Grab that up. Life pod. Ooh, can we? Oh, we can't. I was going to say, can we de deconstruct that? That would give us some good materials. Is that pretty much it? Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Just that kind of story puck story thingy okay so the grand reef is under this island yeah. so let's go down we're gonna grab a few while we're here yeah, I'm pretty sure they're pretty common okay well it's gonna be dangerous but we gotta go get them so Yep, oxide crystal. I'm pretty sure that's just quartz. Yeah. I guess we can just camp here, grab everything around here. It looks pretty safe. So, all right, we got some oxide crystals. So that's good. We got. And I'm gonna st I'm gonna stay down here for a little bit, and get as many as I can while I'm down here. Okay. Yeah, the, I need to stay away from those. Okay. I think we're good. Okay. We got a good amount. Got a good amount of oxide crystal. If we need to, I know exactly where to come back to, so we can head home. Uh, what were those other things? We need plasteel ingots. Oh, it's right here. Uh, plasteel ingots. Or wait, it's right here. Plasteel ingots. How do you make here? No, I shall. I, I don't need you to Google that. Um. Titanium and lithium. Okay, that's really easy. So what we need to do, we need to go back home and we just need to farm more titanium. Which isn't hard, we just gotta look for more scrap. So we're back home. Uh, while I was out there, I did make some plasteel ingots and got some of my titanium together. So we'll leave stuff in here because we don't really need it. But what we will grab is specifically the oxide crystals. Uh, let's just grab a bunch of them. I think we'll be good. Alright, let's head back into the base. And, yeah, I have some lithium. Hopefully, hopefully I don't have to go get more titanium. I'm hoping the oxide crystals and the plasteel ingots and the compensator. I'm just going to leave everything in here. And, yeah, I guess my job right now is I'm just going to go get more titanium. Although, before I do leave, I do have some spare ore over here. And I know... A lot of it's titanium. 
One more plasteel ingot. So now I'm pretty sure we only need two. That is not a lot at all. So that's pretty good. So we got... Actually, we need one more. That's it. That's not too shabby. Yeah, we just need to get ten more titanium, and that's no problem. We can pick up either, like, two scrap, hit a few ore. That is not bad at all. Okay, I think this should be almost just enough to make us our last plasteel ingot. Although, now that I think about it... Actually, no, we don't, because we already made the compensator, so we're good, I think. Make one more steel titanium ingot, not steel. This isn't some other game need to grab one more lithium bam there's last plasteel ingot now what was that last thing or was that pretty much it oh the oxide crystals okay so we do got everything let's see if we can make it seamoth upgrades Ooh. pressure compensator mk2 yeah, i don't know how those work but yeah the important thing is the cyclops one so now we do have the now we can go super deep with the cyclops so that is really good okay so guys real quick before we do anything else what we do want to make is some swim charge fins because these are these are really useful they actually charge your tool so we need a wiring kit real quick and how do we make that that's just silver ore and i'm pretty sure did we run out oh we did run out okay well, before we go out, I do want to make these, so I'm going to go grab two silver, and then I guess we'll go back out. All right, we got two. We actually got three. All right, cool. I'm just going to head out then, because that's all we really needed. Then we'll make ourselves the swim charge fins. And then we'll pretty much head back out. I really want to see what's going on down deep in the lava, in places like where the sea dragons are, because technically... Since I forgot which update, um, before sea dragons could destroy cyclopses, so people were scared to go down there, they actually can't anymore. They can only push us around. So really, we can just go down there without any fear. The only fear that we have is maybe losing power in the middle of it and being stuck down there. Which, that's another thing. Maybe before we go down there, we should go and find the power cell charger. So just in case we get stuck down there, we can just wait a little bit charge them up and then head back out because that's literally the only thing that could happen is if i die i respawn back on the ship so that doesn't matter all right but we got some swim charge fins so really our only way we could actually be stuck is if we run out of power cells so you know what maybe that's a good idea just so we don't put ourselves in a super big amount of danger what we're gonna do we're gonna make sure to go get the power cell charger crafting first i'm gonna go find those create it and then we'll go explore the deep deep down this episode so i think that'll be kind of the outline for this episode i want to stay there for that all right guys and actually before we leave there's something interesting that i do want to craft if i have enough hopefully i just need three titanium so hopefully i have three titanium i think i should okay guys so that's our goal then we need to build the moon pool so we can build the modification station to upgrade the sea moth so we can go look for power cell charger and then get the power cell charger so whew, okay we got a kind of a long list of things to do so i guess i need to go start rounding up titanium lubricant everything okay guys so yeah, I'm just going to go start collecting things at this point. I just got to go out. I need to get a lot more of the stalker seeds. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go get a little bit of everything. Okay, guys, we have everything for the moon dock. I think that's what it's called. Advanced wiring kit. Uh, what was that last thing? And, and lubricant. Lubricant, right. So now, do we build that... I think we build that with here or do we build that I think we build it with this right yeah moon moon thingy now where should we build this I think maybe over here I guess um, right up front here 
Yeah, why not? Right here is a good place. So this will be able to hold... I think once we make the prawn suit, this is where we'll keep the prawn suit. Because I think I want to keep the Seamoth and the Cyclops. And the prawn suit. Well, let's kind of test it out. Okay, that's not how we get in. You gotta go under. Under? Then I might have to rebuild it. Oh, I get it. And then this thing. Yep, and you can connect it to your base, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I mean, I guess for now we'll just leave it here. We're not going to technically use this because for now the Seamoth is going to stay in the Cyclops and I don't have the prawns. So for now we'll just leave it there. But what we do need to build now is the vehicle bay. So we need to build this. We need two computer chips and glass. And the computer chips involve silver. Okay, so I think we have all the silver. And then we need to go grab some of that table coral stuff. Which we have plenty of. So one, two, one, two. I think we have the titanium necessary. So we got to make two computer chips uh, over here. Oh, we need quartz. Okay, and we have quartz. That's fine also. That is completely fine. One computer chip, two computer chip. Now, what else do we need for the vehicle bay? Oh, and some glass, and we have that. Actually, I prepared some earlier for this. Bam. So, how do we put the Chalamet? How do, do we use the repair tool for that? Oh, that makes sense. So, the storage module, this is what I was... This is the reason why we did all this, is that storage module. I wonder if we can put two. I think we do. Okay, so let's go to the Seamoth. Let's put the upgrades in here. Okay, cool. So now we got those Seamoth upgrades. And we got the moon pool. So we got a lot of good things that we have. We would have had to get in other episodes like the moon pool and all that. But this does open up a lot of upgrades, which is really, really nice. Okay, guys. So now that we got everything like that out of the way, now our job is to go, I think, to the mushroom biome. And we're going to go ahead and try to find those power cell charger uh, fragments so we could build the power cell charger because from then on out we'll be able to go explore the deep without any sort of trouble which will be really nice okay guys so I didn't have much luck finding the parts of the fragment so what we're gonna do just for the sake of the episode is we're gonna check out the inactive lava zone which is one of the deepest parts but we don't have the parcel charger, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure to get a bunch of Palisar chargers, so there's no way we can run out, just for this specific episode. And then, in between episodes, I'm going to try my best to find the fragments. But yeah, for now, I guess we'll be fine. As long as I grab six fresh ones, they'll last me long enough. So I'm just going to make a bunch of new power cells, make sure we have enough power, and then we'll be good. Okay, so let's go to the Cyclops and actually add in the, the upgrade. And also, during this time, I did uh, go farm some creep vines so I could get some silicone to make some power cells. So we have a bunch of fresh new power cells. So we make sure we don't run out of power in the middle of it. Now the upgrades are here. Bam. Now to 1,500. Okay, I was scared it would only go to 1,000, but we're good. Okay, so we're all prepared to go. So what my plan is for today is to not get stuck, first of all. But we're going to go to the inactive lava zone near the Aurora. And we're going to see what's up with that. And that will be the conclusion of this episode. But this is going to be the first time we go eh, practically any deeper than 500 because we couldn't. So this is pretty exciting now, I don't have to worry about anything because, um, again, since the new update, 
Leviathans, uh can't do anything to me literally nothing in the game can do anything to me other than there's one the only thing that can happen to me is there's a certain type of fish that can take energy out of me but i have some extra power cells so that won't even matter so in the end i shouldn't be scared i'm scared but i shouldn't be scared because there's technically nothing anyone can do to me and there's a leviathan Seems like this one's always swimming around exactly this parts right here. He's always just chilling. Probably just grabbed me a little bit, but yeah, I don't gotta be worried. They can't do anything to me. By the way, that life pot over there, uh, whoever was in that is dead. There's a reaper around here. I wouldn't be surprised if that reaper got him. So yeah, right here, we will just dive down and it's going to be very, very dark, but I guess we'll just keep going until we have some light, which will be the lava. Oh, that's some good sign right there. That's some lava. So that's a good sign. Oh, that means we're heading the right way. Nice. Yep. Looks about it. Yeah, it looks like we're here, guys. The inactive lava zone. Nice. So, uh, I said I wouldn't get out. I might be tempted to. I want to see what that stuff is. But at the same time, I know it's probably a terrible idea. I'll probably get killed so fast. Oh, but yeah, this is 100% the inactive lava zone. Now, what would be cool is if we saw the sea dragon. And there is a skeleton. I know there's stuff we can get from those skeletons. I might be tempted to jump out real quick just for a second. And if we die, we'll respawn in the Cyclops. So it's not like it's a big deal anyway, right? I'm pretty sure from that ore you can get nickel ore. Because this is what you can collect. Nickel okay. Ore, diamond, kyanite, sulfur, and deep troops ore. Okay, guys. We're going to jump out real quick. I'm probably going to regret this later. But it's fine. If we die, we'll come back here. But now, I do gotta wait for me to stop lagging. Because if I lag out there, I will die. Oh. Okay, how do I do this? Do I hit it with a knife? What do I do with it? Can I scan it? Oh, I'm actually dead. Whew. 1% Now the only problem is I have no health You know I'm just going to go out and die So I can get some health back There we go Okay Bam back in the Okay well I don't I don't, I don't know how to get that stuff Oh there's something Is that the thing that sucks my energy Um yes Okay, I need to I need to go outside and kill that thing. Yep, you can only kill it with the knife. Get off. Get off. Stupid buggers. You get off here. There we go. Well, honestly, again, we're not here to actually specifically do anything. We're just kind of here to look around. Oh, there is the warper. So, is the sea dragon here, shall we? Do you know? Um, or is the sea dragon only at the active lava zone? It's at both. Active okay. and inactive. Okay, so we can see one. Actually, there's two in the inactive. So, you should see two. Okay, well then hopefully we'll run into one. Yeah, this is really cool. He finally made it down here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's one of those stupid things that stick to me. And I don't know how we're supposed to get those crystals. I think maybe we might have to come down here with a prawn suit and with the drill arm. 
Ah, one of those things stuck to my... They're yeah. draining my energy, man. I'm also pretty sure that's... So ah, there he is. Alright, you know what? We're gonna leave because the thing's sucking my energy. But first, yeah. before I lag out, let's take a look at the guy. How you doing, buddy? There is the sea dragon. Yep. It's kind of what we came to see. Well, that's what I came to see, pretty much. Oh, there's a second one, so there's the two. Yep. Nice. Okay, so we saw them both. Cool. There's a lava castle that you have to Oh, one of them just grabbed me. Here. Shall I... Oh, one of them just flipped me around. Holy crap. Like 300, so... Yeah, and look, there's nothing above me. And there's a reaper. Reapers don't go that far down. And there's Aurora. That was close. We made it out with like 300 energy. That's it. So, Alright guys. So we have made it home. Finally. Yeah that was very stressful. I was very worried that we're going to run out of power in the middle of that. But... I'm glad I'm home. Next time I'll prepare with many, 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 many more power cells just in case. But yeah, guys, I think we did a lot of good things today. We got the moon thing going. We got some upgrades. We finally made it down super, super deep. By next, during, for next episode, I'm going to have to get a lot more power cells because we're kind of broke on those right now. But I think we made some good progress today. One thing that's essential is the upgrade for the Cyclops to go deeper, so that's pretty cool. And I'm lagging all over the place. Come on, get in. There we go. So yeah, I think we made some good progress today, but I'm going to have to call it a day. I'm pretty tired. So yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. I quite enjoyed it. So if you did, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.